Well, the bees of Brentford are buzzing. Not what I did there. I love that. Yeah, Brentford promoted to the championship. And to tell us a bit more, we're joined on Pizza Cam by Billy of uh, Besotted Brentford Fanzine. Billy, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit about what Mark Warburton's done. Mark Warburton has done a tremendous job down at Griffin Park. Um, a lot of people don't know this because they think that you know, especially when he got that managership, they thought. Who is this guy? He's just, he's got no history, he's got no nothing, and he's just come in off the street and he's managing a team like Brentford off the back of Uwe Rossler. Um, the fact is that um, Mark Warburton has actually been around for quite a while. Yes, he was a city trader, he worked in the city for years, uh, made a lot of money as a financial trader, but then he just gave it up, said, I'm not doing this, I'm going to go into football. He used to play football, he got injured, he used to play for Enfield Town. And he actually started coaching down at Watford. Billy, I suppose it was a bit of poetic justice, the fact that you went up via a penalty after last season. What happened with Marcello Trotter on that last day? I mean, it was. I mean, like I say, we could laugh about it now. Um, the ironic thing about it as well is that not only the fact that it was a penalty, but it was a penalty for a player on loan as well. <laughs> so, of course, Alan Judge scored the penalty, but I said we weren't laughing a bit later because Alan Judge got the second penalty and he all slipped over. And, uh, and he didn't score that, so we thought, here we go again, oh no, same old Brentford, you don't want to go up and all that stuff. But at the time, we didn't realise that Crawley, and oh, God bless Crawley, were going to actually beat the mighty Lady Orient that same day to actually put us up. And like I said, I've got my Russell Slade trophy here. I'm going to drink the Russell Slade. <laughs> they love that one down at Brentford, the Russell Slade trophy. Because we celebrated uh, like Bill... we won the FA Cup and he wasn't happy with that. Uh, Billy, can, can Brentford stay up next year? Brentford could stay up this year, next year, I say no problem because Mark Warburton and Matthew Benham have been planning this for a long time. And the way that we've been buying our players, it's been for the long term, not for the short term. So if you see the players like Forshaw, Bidwell, Dean, you know, um, Douglas, they're there for actually for a championship. And already they've turned around and they've said, they've said already that they only want players who they believe are going to get in the championship. So we've already been told that they've been talking, they've lined up eight players already to try and sign, it looks like, you know, and it's interesting because what best way to get back on the people that actually make you cry, but the rumours are that we're actually trying to raid the vaults of Yeovil Town at the moment now, who look like they're going to get relegated. So uh, one of their players looks like he's on our radar, and don't surprise me, and you may have heard it heard first, if Leighton Orient don't get a call from the Grim Reapers of Brentford. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, thanks for joining us, good luck next season. No worries, and check out besotted.co.uk or besotted 1992 on YouTube. There's a brilliant video of our end of season uh, uh, celebrations with the manager and the players and everybody just going berserk. It's about That's 20 minutes long season, to get a cup of tea and watch that. Well, there, you've heard it from Billy himself as well that Brentford are going to stay up next year in the Championship. If you agree, let us know uh, on Twitter at Ball Street.